Today I'd like to teach you how to make social media videos. Shooting, editing and posting everything on phone. turn the light super light normally what i do is this area my phone will capturing me talking in front of my camera it's okay you don't have this light or this light it's not about i need to add this video i need to buy this but i need to buy that no 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 you can use everything you already have i'm using all this light is because it's cool to capture under my this camera it's not about this actually yes i will put my camera over there before I start to record, tap on the place I want to focus the light on. If you tap in here, everything gonna go very dark over here. I will be in here, so tap in here. Now I'm in here, adjusting a bit of line. Looks very professional. Show that you are focused and you're dedicated to your job. for me to control myself, improve myself by doing project 50. Sometimes after work, I was so lazy, tired. I have the reason to go to my desk, start to learn video making techniques and everything. Every day learning a little bit. I'm going to show about my desk, my laptop, how I do it. Have you seen in here, of course. From this angle, doing this. Or I will put my phone in here, phone, iPad or phone holder, record from here. Okay, this is normally my weekdays. In a weekend, I can do much more stuff. So weekends, I will show a bit of my breakfast or my workout, showing that I'm a human and I'm still insisting on what I need to do. The application I'm using to add my phone with you is InShot, like this. This one you don't need to pay at all. Yes. Okay, let's go to editing part. Go into the InShot app, create a new video, choose the file. You can tap on the small scissors to preview or trim it. Once you are done with trimming, tap on the check mark or tick to confirm the selection of trimming. If you want to choose more clips, you can repeat the same process. Select this white tick with green circle to enter the editing page. Let me explain from top to bottom. The arrow on the top left will lead you back to the main page. You can drop the current editing or you can just leave them. On the top right, the question mark in a circle, just ignore it. The save button is for exporting the films. We will use it after all the editing is done. This is advertisement. Don't touch it, otherwise you can enter another world. In the middle is a preview window. During the editing, you will see all the footages in here. This is play button. If you click here, you will see the video on the full screen. Tool column, you will see all the editing tools in here. Bottom left, add sign, you can add more videos or photos. Timeline, you can use your two fingers to zoom in or zoom out of the timeline. This time show you where is your playhead locating. Bottom right, this time show you the lens of the video. Now you have basic concept of the editing app. After every editing is done, when you save it, you have several selections to choose. Remember, the social media always compress the size, so make sure to make your file as little as possible. Normally, I will choose 720 in here, 24 in here. I will quickly show you one example of me editing on my phone. I screen recorded it. Open the InShot app, choose the video, new project, choose the footage you want to edit. I will choose this one. Tap on the small scissors to preview it. Move this green ball. You can trim it. I was learning how to adjust my light, the brightness and the position of my light. So I will show putting my camera lower or higher. Yeah. You can see from here, it's one minute long. Okay. I split here and I can drag here. I'd like to show myself moving this camera scene. Move. I'm gonna tap in here, choose the split. All the rest is I don't want it, so I'm gonna choose it. Delete. You can see we have 16 seconds. It's too long. 
I feel this video is a bit overexposed over here. It looks very weird. So I will delete it. Long press it to drag to reorder them. And two fingers to make it look long bigger. Okay, I'd like to show this in front of me sitting. And maybe one second is enough. 1.5 seconds is enough okay everything looks very perfect okay now we need to do color adjustment saturation and highlight part shadow definitely very dark vintage yes this part this part is start to turn black sharpening yes green a little bit film green yes and the button lightning if we make the number very big it's like overexposed so maybe a bit lower one minus seven contrast without is like this this is like this with a bit of six number off because i'm dealing with a laptop and video making so i feel like it's nice to have cool color not too warm okay about the saturation i'd like to make it a bit lower the magic point is put this adjustment to all the other footage you can simply tap in here apply to all so what you did is just go to all the other footages so this is why i'd like to synchronize all the lightning when i'm recording when i'm shooting so it is easy to do color adjustment Done. About the color adjustment is completely decided by you. You can decide your style and your color. Good luck. This is all the editing. People like to ask me how you do it. They think I'm editing it on a computer or anything. Sometimes, yes, I'm editing on my laptop, but on the project video, I'm really not touching my laptop at all. Everything is on my phone. I believe everybody can do it as well, and everybody can improve yourself. If you have any other stuff you want to learn, if I know, I'd like to share it to you. Thank you so much.